today we're going to be building this uh, this little flip card flash card animation thing here uh, we're going to build it as a component in Ionic 2 uh, so all you'll have to do is drop this component in any way you want to use it and then click on the card and it will just flip and show whatever information you want uh, so let's jump right into it and create our new application Okay, so we're going to start this project by running Ionic start uh, Then the name of the project which we're going to call uh, Ionic 2 flashcard uh, We'll use the blank template and specify the v2 flag so that we create an Ionic 2 project So we're just going to let that generate now and as you can see, obviously I already have a blog post uh, for this uh, particular tutorial, uh, which you can go and have a read of if you like. Um, this is probably a more basic version of um, how to use the component here. This is just building it um, and then getting it set up in your application. I'm gonna just talk about it a little bit in this video um, and also do a more, I guess, realistic example and then also um, talk a little bit more about um, how it works and point a few things out. Okay, the app has finished generating now, so now I just need to change into it by running the cd command and going to arnic2 uh, flashcard, I think I called it. No, what did I call it? arnic2 flashcard, one word. Okay, cool. Uh, so now we're going to jump straight into the code which I'll open up in here okay we've got the project up now uh, so what we're going to do first is create our flashcard component uh, so the idea of the component is that uh, it's this modularized bit of code that you can just drop in where you need to use it and so the whole uh, Ionic 2 application is built up of components uh, I explained this a bit in the blog post but if you look in this uh, index.html file uh, you'll see here there is an ion app HTML element. Now that doesn't exist in HTML, uh, that is an ionic specific thing. Um, so, what ionic is able to do in this case is create their own custom HTML element, and that's using Angular 2 components. So, what will happen here is when this is rendered out to the browser, we're not going to see ion app, you're going to see whatever the template for that component is. And so in this case, that's actually the root component of our application, which you can find here. Uh, so this is the TypeScript file for it. Uh, and we just have a really simple template here, which uses ionNav and sets up a root page. So again, the ionNav is another custom HTML element. Uh, so it's a component. And setting up this root page here uh, is, again, another component it's setting up. Uh, so if we look in the... Uh, TypeScript file just here, it says root page equals home page. So we're essentially injecting the home page into this ion nav. And if we take a look at that component, which is made up of these three files, uh, we can again go to the template here and we can see that um, this also contains its own uh, custom elements. So these are all components as well ion header, ion nav bar, ion title. So this will get injected or displayed um, because we've injected it with the ion nav. And then in turn, each of these things are gonna have their own templates from different components that are gonna be loaded up. So what we wanna do is create our own custom element like this, our own custom component. And we want to be able to just write in here, flashcard, and then that will display a flashcard for us. And we're also going to add a bit of configuration to this eventually uh, so that we can specify what we want to be on the flashcard, but we'll get to that in a little bit. So we're going to create that component now, uh, which we can do with the command line interface. Uh, we can run the ionic generate command. So if we run ionic g component and then the name of our component, so let's call it flashcard. That'll go ahead and generate the component for us. And you would have seen it just fly in on the left over here. And so we have a thing that looks a lot like the page, um, essentially a page and a component, same thing. A page is a component, 
Uh, the only difference is that with Arnic, we have these specific components we're using to display the views um, for our pages, the different screens of our app. Um, but in effect, they're the same thing. Uh, if you look at this TypeScript file and this one, basically the same. Before we can actually start um, building this component, uh, we need to include it in our app.module.ts file. Uh, so if you're unaware, this is what sets up all of the, uh, the dependencies of our application. So we have a home page in there um, and basically any other pages we want, we'd put in here, any pipes, any custom directives, components, uh, or providers all need to be imported uh, in here and then added to the appropriate array in the ng module decorator. So what we need to do is import that uh, flashcard that we just created. So it'd be called flashcard component, uh, which is that. And then we need to import it from where it's located. So that is in the uh, components uh, folder. And then it's just under flashcard. And then the file is flashcard.ts, but you don't need to put the ts on the end there. So that should import that, and then we just need to add it to our declarations uh, right here. So I'm going to save that now and also serve it just to make sure that we haven't run into any errors yet. Okay, and the browser has popped up. It doesn't look like there's any errors, so we are good to go. Uh, so I'm just going to get the emulator set up here, uh, set that to an iPhone 5. Okay, so now we can focus on building the component. So let's jump right back into the HTML for the component. So right now, this is the default uh, component that is generated. You can see we've just got a binding here for uh, text. So that'll render out whatever text is in the component. And if we look here, we can see the text is a string and it's being set to hello world. So if we were to display that component now, it would just say hello world. And for the sake of demonstration, let's just do that. Uh, so if we come in here, we've already got the flashcard set up. So I should be able to save that and then see what happens. And you see it says hello world. Uh, if I was to change that hello world to just hello, oh, hello xw, uh, that's better. Hit refresh. And now it just says hello. So we're going to replace uh, the text here with what we actually want uh, our component to be. And for this, I'm going to be using uh, some HTML and CSS based on this flip animation, which was actually created by David Walsh. So um, if I can find the demo here. So this is just pure HTML CSS and he's created this CSS uh, animation uh, that looks like a flashcard flipping. So we're going to apply that CSS to our um, component in Ionic 2. And so we can create the same effect uh, we're going to make just a few minor modifications. We've got to change the functionality a bit so it works with Ionic. Um, but in effect, it's we're just making this into a component for Ionic. So I'm going to start by setting up the HTML that's required for that flashcard. Uh, so I'm just going to code that out now and I'll talk about it uh, once it's done. Okay, so I've got the HTML set up now. Uh, so this is what's going to be injected uh, instead of that text now. Uh, so we've got some div containers here, which are going to be useful for applying that CSS animation uh, soon. Um, we have a click uh, handle here, which we've added. So that's going to hook up to a function in our TypeScript file, which is going to toggle this 
split value on and off. So we've got a conditional class set up here and so it's going to apply the flip class whenever this flipped value is true and when it's false it's not going to apply that class and that's what's going to allow us to turn that animation on and off and make it flip backwards and forwards as we click. Now the strange thing here um, is this ng content tag and so what this does is content projection. Uh, so if I were to um, go into uh, my home.html file where I'm using this component, I want to specify what content I want on the front and what I want on the back. And so to do that, by using ng content, I can uh, specify that content in here. So if I just create uh, two divs here, and I'll just say front and back. And so I want front to go uh, in here and I want back to go uh, down here and so to do that we use this select uh, property here and this is a CSS style selector so we're looking for a class of flashcard front and whatever is inside of that element we're going to put in here and whatever is inside of uh, a class with uh, sorry an element with a class of flashcard back is going to be put down here so if I come back into here now and say div class equals, uh, I've already forgotten what it was, uh, flashcard front, flashcard front. And for this one, flashcard back. Okay, so I'll save that, make sure these are saved too. And uh, so let's see what happens when we look in the browser now. Okay, so you can see the values we're putting in there now, front and back. Um, so if we were to inspect that, you can see that we have that CSS for our flashcard in here. Uh, so in our home.html file, all we did was put flashcard and those two divs. But what's actually been uh, set up in there is this, uh, well, this the flip container, the flipper, the front, back, and inside of those, we have that uh, the text that we wanted to be in there. And so you could put anything you like inside of here, but just for the sake of uh, the tutorial, I'll just leave it as front and back. Uh, so now obviously what we need to do is the CSS of the animation applies and we don't see both the front and the back at the same time. Uh, so to do that, we're just gonna drop it in our flashcard.scss uh, file uh, for the flashcard component. And I'm just gonna copy over uh, David's CSS for that. Now this is slightly modified um, to his version, so uh, if you want to grab this, you can either grab the code for this video tutorial or you can grab it off the other blog post and just paste it in here. Uh, if you want an explanation on how all this stuff works, I'd recommend checking out David's blog uh, because it does a lot, a lot better job than I could ever do at explaining what's going on here. So I'll save that and now let's see what happens. Okay, so this is reloaded now, and we have nothing. Nothing has happened, uh, which is not cool, obviously. Uh, so there's still a little bit more we need to do before it works. Um, as you can see, we have this flipped value being applied, and right now that's not doing anything uh, because uh, we haven't made this click function, uh, and we had, don't even have this flipped value either. So let's jump into the flashcard.ts file, and we're going to add in those things now. Okay, so this is what our TypeScript file will look like. Uh, super simple. Um, what we have is a, a flipped variable here, which we've set to false initially, and we have the flip function, which will just toggle that from uh, between true and false. Uh, so you can have com components that are way more complicated than this. Um, but this is all we need to do for this particular component. So now if I look at the uh, the browser, we can see we have our flip card here now. So hopefully when we click it, yeah, it works. So we can click it and it flips from front to back, uh, which is super cool. Uh, but we're going to do just a little bit more than what we did in the, um, the blog post, uh, the tutorial for that, and um, display this data dynamically. 
So what we can do is jump into our home file here and let's create an array of data um, that we're going to use to create multiple different flashcards. So if I go in here and um, let's just make a variable called uh, flashcards, makes sense. Um, and then we're just going to assign some values to that. Uh, you don't need to assign uh, values to stuff in the constructor here, you could just as easily um, create an array here and put the values in. Uh, I just prefer to do it in the constructor because I think it looks neater. Um, so we're going to set that here and what we want for each flashcard is uh, both a front property and a back property. Uh, so to do that we're going to create an object uh, with a front and a back property. So we'll say front, front and back uh, back. So we can create as many of these uh, objects now that we want in this array and then it's going we're going to display each of them as a flashcard. Uh, so I'll just put in some random values here. Okay, save that and then jump into the home.html file. And now we just want to loop over that uh, with uh, an ng4. So let's do ng4 equals let uh, card of flashcards. And then we can access those values in here. So we have the um, front property and a back property. So to display the front, I need to do card.front and for the back that should be card.back. Save that. And now you can see we've got multiple cards uh, displayed here now. And I should be able to click uh, all of those and they flip and they work uh, with the values that we specified in the TypeScript file. And that's about it. Um, we now have a pretty cool component. We can drop it in anywhere we want. Um, if you wanted to use this flashcard component in a different application, all you need to do is just copy that folder out, put it in a components folder in the new application, make sure you set it up in the module file. Uh, but apart from that, you can just use it um, with this format here, uh, which is super cool. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.